us the shortest fasting window that's still effective. Let's talk about it. A lot of people are curious, you know, what is the shortest fasting window that's going to provide benefits? And I love that kind of way of looking at it because I always think about what is the minimum effective dose? I got that idea from Tim Ferriss and it makes a lot of sense. Like, why would you do more than you need to do? Now, most people agree that your body enters the fasted state uh, somewhere between eight and 12 hours after your last meal. Now, of course, that's gonna vary uh, day to day based on you know what you ate last, what your metabolism is like, what your body's doing at the time, your activity level. So there's a lot of different factors. So there's no hard and fast rule, but between eight and 12 hours, generally speaking. And again, it goes back to your goals. What are you trying to accomplish? If you're trying to lose weight, uh, you know, with a longer uh, eating window, so in other words, like you, you, you may find that you can lose on a 12-12, so you're just fasting for 12 hours and eating for a 12-hour window. Most people find that usually it's something longer than a 12-hour fast that gets the scale moving down. And I think this is mainly because a 12-hour eating window is pretty much the same as what we're doing already anyway, most of us, at least here in America. You know, I found when I had the most weight to lose, of like a 14-hour fasting window, I, I was still able to lose weight with that. And then as I went along though, I liked the way I felt, you know, when I was fasting. So I kept pushing it further and further out until I eventually got to OMAD and I still enjoy doing that way of eating, even though now I'm just maintaining my weight loss. But I do love searching for that minimum effective dose. And I would encourage you that right now, if a long fasting window just doesn't work in your life, like maybe you're really social and you like to go out to lunch with people and you got people over for supper all the time, and you know, OMAD is not gonna work for your life, right? But something else may, and so a longer eating window will work. You'll probably need to experiment. Three big meals with snacks <laughs> during the day probably won't work to help you lose weight. On the other hand though, three small meals may just do the trick. It really comes down to experimenting, tracking your data, weigh every day and figure out uh, what your weight is doing and see how it's trending over time. But for me, you know, I like the longer fasting window because I like bigger portions, first of all, and I'm an introvert, so we don't do a lot of, you know, going out and meeting with people. And that's the great thing about intermittent fasting. There are so many different ways to do it, and so many people have success doing it a variety of ways. But in my belief, any fasting window, no matter how short, when done consistently, is beneficial. And here's why. It builds self-discipline around food. And at the end of the day, I feel like that's all successful weight loss really comes down to. So right now, if you are struggling to implement a long fasting window, I would encourage you, keep experimenting with it until you find the shortest possible window that still gives you the results you're looking for. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to head on over to my website, sixmilestosuffer.com, for more information about intermittent fasting, walking, and sustainable weight loss.